I'm Debbie Kitterman and welcome to my vlog lessons from the lake you know this week I was in church on Sunday and we were singing Holy Spirit and there's a phrase in the chorus that says uh, let me be overcome by your presence and I noticed at that time that there are was this overwhelming sense in me that I just wanted to be overcome by his presence. This week I've been going to Psalm 42 and I kind of felt like I'd been living there. We've been going through some situation and for many of you, you know that we've been trying to decide what to do about my husband's job that's moving out of state, but we're not moving. And I've felt like I've done pretty good with um, staying steadfast and having faith in the situation, knowing that God's got it and he's going to come through. But there's been a part of me that I could quote David from Psalm 42 that just says, Oh, my soul, why are thou, thou so downcast? And I don't know. I just was just feeling on Sunday as we were singing that song that is because I want to be overcome by his presence. He's been silent in this process and I've just been wondering where he's at. And at the beginning of Psalm 42, it says, as the deer panteth for water, so my soul pants for you, O Lord. And that's exactly what I wanted. I was realizing that I was hungry for his presence to come in. Even in the midst of the situation where I'd been filled with faith, I needed to feel his presence presence. And maybe you do too. Maybe that's what you need. You know, further down in Psalm 42, 7, it says deep calls out to deep. And then it talks about your hope being in God. And that's exactly what I needed his presence to do for me on Sunday. I needed to be overcome by his presence, that my deep parts of my soul and my spirit were crying out to him, that he would overcome me with his presence and he would continue to fill me with his peace as we continue to press in to see what he's doing. This week on my blog, I'm going to finish up my Gideon series and we're going to talk about self-reliance versus God-reliance. So I hope you join me on Thursday for that and I hope you've been enjoying my new video blog series, Lessons from the Lake. Thank you for joining me today. Have a very blessed week. Until next time. I'd like to give a special shout out to my blogging friend, Susan Scheip, for helping me come up with a name for my new video blog, Lessons from the Lake. Susan, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You were brilliant. I'd also like to give a shout out to Laurel Gonzalo of Sugar Bowl Music for providing the bump music for my videos. And if you are interested and you need some good bump music for your podcasts or for your video blogs, I can hook you up. I'd like to give a shout out to Brandy Kitterman for her technical and creative design work. She has helped me with my videography and also some of the design logo work on my website. And if you are interested in what Brandy can do for you, shoot me an email and I'm sure I can hook you two up. <music> <laughs>